the best diet for you if you have a thyroid condition. I'm Marissa Fay. I'm a hormone and gut health expert for women. I help women reverse and reduce their symptoms and actually feel better with natural methods. First of all, I'm going to give you the opportunity to click away from this video if you're somebody who believes strongly that it's a vegan or plant-based diet. So go ahead, swipe away from this. Okay, if you stuck around and you really want to know what the best diet is for most women, because listen, there are outliers and exceptions to every rule. But for most of us, this is the way to start. A diet that includes about 30% high quality animal proteins and the sourcing, if you can afford it, really does matter. If you can't, choosing leaner protein options is a good way to go because animals often carry the most toxins in their fat. So fattier cuts of conventional meat are where we can be exposed to the most harmful things. Then 30% gluten-free carbohydrates. That's gonna include our starchy root vegetables. I am a potato lover through and through. Squash, things like rice, things like soaked or properly prepared quinoa, not just quinoa boiled on the stove. You've gotta soak it or cook it in an instant pot to make it easy to digest. Things like cassava flour, if you like to bake things at home. And gluten-free, by the way, is, is a standard when it comes to thyroid issue. This in part has to do with something called molecular mimicry. If you want me to chat more about that, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to share more and explain. And then the last 40% of your plate being produce. And if you're somebody who's showing signs of digestive issues, or if you're somebody with a low functioning thyroid, or you suspect you have a low functioning thyroid, and some ways you might know is by taking your resting pulse and taking your daily body temperatures. That's something I teach in the Balanced Hormone Blueprint and have trackers for. But you'd really wanna make sure that your veggies, these are non-starchy veggies, by the way, are cooked more than they are raw. It's much easier for your body to digest. It agrees a lot more with our metabolism and it makes things a little bit easier for your body. And when you have a thyroid imbalance going on, that's the name of the game. How do we lower stress physically, physiologically, mentally, and emotionally, and make things a little easier for your body? And that section also includes then fruit. Fruit is fantastic. It is not a type of sugar we need to be worried about as long as you're balancing it within a meal and within your diet. And then finally, one to two thumbs of healthy fats. These are going to be fats that come from fruit or animal sources. Fruit sources are gonna be things like coconut, avocado, olives, right? We have to get rid of really trashy inflammatory oils. And you're gonna notice that I don't emphasize nuts and seeds very much in this dietary approach, and that is intentional. Nuts and seeds require a lot of effort in your digestive system. I go into detail on this in my course, The Balanced Hormone Blueprint, which you're welcome to join us or keep sticking around here. We'll keep talking about this stuff. You can grab a spot here.